Kids and from the Useless Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to take a picture of something and then upload it into Design Space, clean it up, and then upload it into Design Space, and then you can cut it with vinyl or cardstock or whatever you want. Specifically, my project is I bought this, gosh, a few years ago. These are fleece throws, and let me see what it says. Uh, it's incredibly soft and warm, <laughs> but it's 50 by 60 inches. They were crazy on sale. I want to say they were $3. So I, I bought out a ton of these. And then what I do is they're great for uh, teacher's gifts. So this is Kai. Um, I had all the parents have the kids write their names with a black marker, like a black Sharpie or marker. Um, on a plain white piece of paper. Make sure it's not lined. Let's make it easy for ourselves. <laughs> so um, I'm going to cut it on HTV and I've done this before and I loved it. So I'm actually not going to use this one, but I'm going to end up using this one because I don't want to layer it. I just want to do white glitter HTV. It totally pops out on this. It's going to say the teacher's name and the year and all the kids handwriting. Um, so I'll just show you how to do that. But I think it's also a great idea for like if you're gifting it to your uh, for grandparents with all their kids names, that would be kind of cute and them writing the name or they could write even a message um, depending on how many kids you have, right? I have 23 names. I'm doing just the names, no messages. <laughs> all right. So I just wanted to show you what this looks like. So you want to, this is, so I had them either email me or text me, but it was the same process either way. I am going to download this and then let's go into design space. So here's design space. I'm going to go to upload and let me see. Yeah, you can see upload. So you can see I've done all of these names. Um, I was going to use profanity. It was a shit ton. <laughs> 23 kids, but I did it on my phone. I'm going to show you now. I'm going to do it here because I want to record it. So you want to go to upload, upload image, browse, and it's going to be in my downloads. So just make sure you know where you're going and where your, um, where your picture is. Uh, so here's my image. So I'm going to do moderately complex. I really, um, when you do it on the phone, so I prefer doing it on my phone. I feel like I get a better cut on my phone um, and a cleanup for some reason. So normally when you do it on your phone, I don't have an option of selecting whether it's medium or complex or whatever. But so I zoomed out over here so that I can see the whole name. Um, I find that the easiest thing to do is to crop it first. So I'm going to crop just the name. So it's just less to clean up, okay? So there's my crop. I'm going to, again, zoom out. Um, I'm gonna click on select and erase, and I'm just gonna click in this brown area, and then inside the A, and you can kind of see, for some reason, it leaves a little bit of this up here. So at this point, what I do is, I'm gonna take this eraser, and I'm gonna make the ball kind of big, the circle, right? Maybe even bigger, hold on, let's see how big that is. Okay, and I'm just gonna kind of clean this up. So just a general quick cleanup. Um, you want to let go of your mouse because let's say I did all of this in one stroke and then I accidentally clicked on here. If I undo it, which I'm going to, it's gonna undo everything within that stroke. So when you're cleaning up, it's sort of, you know, it's just, it is a really good reminder to um, let go and just do clicks. Or if you do a stroke, do one quick stroke and then lift up. Um, and I'm telling you from, unfortunately, from experience. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I'm working on something, especially on my phone, because I'm working, I'm concentrating, and then my daughter will come by and just like knock into my arm. And of course, it's the one where like I did a lot of cleanup or something. Um, okay, so I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller and I'm gonna see if I can clean this up. Okay, so this is kind of as clean as I can do, I think. So then let's go to continue. 
So your options right now is save as print, then cut, or save as cut. I wanna save as cut because I want to do, um, and let me see, oh, you can go back. Okay, where, let me see, where is my view? Okay, so let's zoom out for a second. You should, oh, let's see, advanced options. Um, no, I feel like, where is it? Oh, preview, I'm blind. So you can see the preview, so you can kind of know like where to clean up. So I'm gonna grab my little eraser and clean, clean that up, maybe make it even bigger and kind of just, um, I'm just gonna go around in the open space area. Now, what's funny is on my phone when I'm doing this, my preview screen is up the whole time, like in the corner, so I can kind of see like, am I done? Do I wanna continue? So let's, um, okay, so still a little bit there, up here. And what you can do right now too, is we can crop it further. We can crop it closer and that would make it a little bit easier to get rid of some of these items, right? Like maybe right there. Okay, um, let's zoom out again. Um, like I said, on my phone, it is so much easier. It's literally the same thing, but I'm taking my fingers. I feel like, um, I don't know, it just seems cleaner, but we'll see in a second. Let's go to continue. And some of these we can clean up. I'll show you how to clean it up as contour. So let's bring in Kai, right? And hit save. So you, again, you wanna save it as a cut image because I actually wanna cut this with vinyl. So let's view all for a second. This was a cleanup on the actual desktop. And then where is, oh, here it is. We can compare the two. And see, I'm, like I said, I really do prefer doing it on my phone. For some reason, I feel, oh, wait a minute, why is this cut and print? Did I accidentally? Okay, this is my cut file, this is cut and print. Okay, so I'm gonna delete that. Um, so let's look at this. Let's go to contour. So contour, if there's like extra bits, we can easily get rid of it. So you can see here, there's a lot of these little cuts, right? So we wanna get rid of all of it. So what I wanna do is I wanna hide all, and I want, let's see, the K is already there. I want the A, the inside of the A, and the I. That's all I want. So there. So that's gonna give me a pretty clean, clean cut. So let's um, make this smaller, because right now, oh, I'm at 20. Hold on, let me move myself so you can see. I'm zoomed out. So I'm only at 25%, that's why this is, it looks small, but it's actually 13 inches by 10. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and go to the Make It screen so we can see what it looks like. So when you're on the Make It screen, this looks pretty good, right? You want to mirror because it's, you know, HTV, and then you're just gonna cut and weed and put it on the blanket. Um, what else did I wanna tell you about this? Um, on your phone, there's an option to smooth it out. I don't know if I missed it here on the desktop, but you can smooth it out and that makes it a little bit better too. Um, that's all there is. So this is great for an ornament. I definitely like the flat disc ornaments. Um, I like to do one every year for my daughter, so it has her writing. If you start really early, they obviously can't write their names yet, maybe just a drawing, a little scribble scrabble thing, and then you put the date. I think that's really cute as well. So those are my tips. I am actually doing this for our kindergarten teacher. It's gonna go on here and it's gonna be the group present from the class. And then I'm hoping that because no one donated for this money, like to buy this, cause it was only a few dollars and I was doing this on my own, that we're gonna spoil our teacher with lots of gift cards. That's always my plan. <laughs> so I hope that's a great plan for you guys as well. Let me know your feedback, comments, questions, if you wanna see something else, but I have a bunch of names to do. I'm also gonna do one more thing to show you on another video, but her birthday is in the same month. So I have, you know, like um, during quarantine, everyone did those signs, like each person had a letter and it says like, I love you or 
um, thank you, and it was to like all our frontline workers. Well, we're gonna do a sign for the kids holding it up, and it's gonna say happy birthday. So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well in another video. But these are all kind of class stuff that um, I'm doing as, as a room parent to save some money for everyone else because we want the money for the kids, not for the teacher. The teachers you can do on your own. Okay, I know, that was my own belief. <laughs> all right, bye guys.